so I've got all this wreckage from uh, several months in here. As you can see, I have the forbidden Lua rocks. Um, made an old, gosh, I don't even know. So I like to nuke Norns every period of time. Um, Flash Crash is over. Uh, just starting a couple new projects right now, so I want to have a nice clean slate. So the first step is to see if there's anything I want to save. Um, I already backed up tape. Um, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. Uh, yeah, it should be fine, whatever. So then, um, that's a good data, I guess. So I'm in dust right now. I'm gonna look in audio, data, and uh, code. Um, let's just see if there's anything I need. Uh, I don't think I actually need or care about any of my save data. Yeah, nothing's coming to mind, so. Lua stonks. Yeah, Swamp Sinks, Lua rocks is all your fault. Felt like a bad, bad person when I did that. Uh, okay, so now do I have any secret Skunkworks projects that are not also in GitHub? Oh, and this is so embarrassing too because y'all get to see what scripts I actually have installed and what I don't. I don't know, I feel bad. There's like not enough time in the day to try everyone's scripts out, so. I don't know. It's like music, right? You could listen to a new song every day for the rest of your life and never hear the same thing twice, but I still listen to the same three albums forever. Uh, yeah, so my mind just kind of gets to the point where looking at all this is really overwhelming and trying to remember things. And then I remember that I have pretty good uh, Git habits. So any changes that I think are important, I actually push to GitHub. Um, just because uh, I've totally borked my norns before, sort of accidentally. So kind of live in the danger zone. Oh, I do have some new Athenium stuff. Uh, I don't know if this is worth it though. Yeah, it's not helpful. Mm. Not helpful. Yeah, everyone just listens to Amber and Tri Repite and Choristus forever, and that's it. They're playing it on the radio here now. Okay, so I'm reasonably confident that uh, there's nothing on here that I'm gonna regret not having. Um, I love a dang edu stream. Okay, so I've only done this a couple times. Uh, help, how do I delete everything? Oh, does everything look like it's cigarette stained now? That's great. All right, so I'm over at uh, monohome.org, fresh install. Um, so 
I'm just gonna download uh, this thing imaging. So this is 210607. So all the releases for Norns are um, in this Norns image repo. Uh, wait, is this the newest one? I thought there was a newer one. I thought we were on like 09. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Um, how do I do the image thingy? I guess we're gonna learn how to do this. I haven't done this before. Oh boy, this is a this is a dang edgy stream. Uh, Hands just laughing. Isn't your work day over? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just download the stock image and update. Oh, you're so smart. You're so smart and so handsome and so tall. Yeah. All right. Okay, so now I'm opening Belina Etcher which is um, linked right here, uh, lets you basically do all the things. So once this 1.2 gigabyte image finishes downloading, um, install etcher, disk. Uh, oh yeah, I get to take Norns apart. <laughs> Bear with me a sec while I uh, reconfigure the camera. Gotta get that camera action in. God. Oh, is this the non etcher instructions? <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were dragging me, Alonzo. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, okay, so yeah, I was like, I swear step one said install etcher, so <laughs> I'm gonna hope that's uh, Screwdriver, this one's a little too big. 
My toolbox is in the garage. All right, fear my glass repair kit. Yeah, Lance, I just lost one of these on my great adventure. Uh, Dan was kind enough to send me four replacements this week. Also, if you don't have one, I highly recommend a small tray. So that's like specifically always empty for screws. So what we're doing here is um, there's this little switch built in. So you switch it from run to disk. <laughs> Making sure it's off before I do this. Um, all right. All right, so now, uh, plug in yours. So we're on step two here, or, uh, Step three, sorry. Uh, so we flipped the switch already, so now we're gonna run Etcher. No, I just got a forbidden download. Legends of the Forbidden Temple.
How's the weather out on the East Coast? It was nice today. Sorry about that. Obviously having internet issues. Trying to download this hot image. This bleeding edge image. This hot image. Dan, you're so fast on the draw. Already in the docks. This is a... That's amazing. Thank you, Dan. Um, so Alonzo's doing this the hard way right now. This part's failing for you. Huh. You're on Manjaro right now? Are you back on Mac OS? Okay, I'll try it too. Just like accidentally ejected my Norns three or four times by touching it. So, we're waiting for this to finish download for everyone that's watching this in the future for the educational content. Um, I'm gonna try to help Alonzo in the meantime. So USB boot worked for me. Uh, but maybe it shouldn't have. It's false positive. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Or it uh, just had a false positive that it did work. Oh, no, it was already installed. What's weird is I can't... Oh, well, I guess I'm on version 1.0.24. I don't know what you're on, but why can't I, like, doesn't exist. That's weird. Huh. I 
I mean, I could send you, I could tar this up and send it to you if you want, but that's kind of not fun. The whole point is to do it yourself, right? I wonder what could be wrong. That's really weird. Just mash brew update a few times or something. What version are you on of uh, Mac OS? reading list for a while. This is uh, Matt Lowry's blog. This album he did was inspired by Cormac McCarthy's Blood Meridian, which is one of my favorite books. So I've been slowly enjoying this read. Uh, 11.6. Yeah, same. Don't know what is wrong. All right, so the download finished, so I'm going to unzip it. Well, there you go. Okay, so inside that, we just have a, our image here. Um, I am curious. Typically like to look for a checksum um, before I run anything, but it's fine. Okay. All right, so now I've got an image. Uh, we've got Etcher. Uh, Norns is plugged in. I'm not going to move it because it'll disrupt the connection again. So we're going to flash from file. Dan, should I etch my Mac OS? <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make sure I'm following instructions because this is a dang edgy stream, so. Run Etcher, select the dish image, select the compute module. Push go and wait to finish. Okay. Let me move my, uh, so this is called OPSEC. I'm moving my uh, keyboard off the screen while I type in my password. Then, um, Actually, I'm going to take this off the screen so y'all can't see how long my computer password is either. And add a bunch of random types in so you can't hear it. <laughs> I 
Yeah, it's as easy as that. You just... It just grows the uh, quarter inch input jacks and it grows the encoders. You just plant some Norn seeds. Okay, I do not have a Norns from after October 2020, so I'm not going to be doing step 7. Um, so all we got to do now is once this is finished, uh, we are going to disconnect the USB, flip the switch back to run, and then put the bottom back on. Um, I wonder if there's anything interesting we can do while this waits. <laughs> wonder if there's anything interesting we can do. We have the internet. So you know how people go to church on Sundays? I was thinking about um, going to GitHub on Sundays and contributing to open source projects. I think that could be a thing. Because like anyone from the States raised in a vaguely Christian family feels guilty about not going to church on Sundays due to indoctrination. So I wonder what it'd be like to switch that around and say, no, like, GitHub's my church now. Going to the Palouse on Sundays sounds really good. Oh yeah, Alonzo, I feel liberated too. I'm just saying, like, I still have some residual... It's not Catholic guilt, because I wasn't raised Catholic, but my mom was... I don't know, it's just like some genetic thing, but I still on Sundays, I'm like, so basically like it's not church, it's um, uh, a feeling that Sundays ought to be days to give back to the community is actually what it is. It's not a spiritual thing. It's like intentionally carving out time of your life to give. Um, right now, for me, it's, uh, like opportunistic giving, which is fine, but um, there isn't a lot of intentional giving. Like, you know, I'm going to, like for example, like all I'm saying is, what if every Sunday for one hour I like contributed to an open source project that I used or believed in or knew I could help with? I'm just, I'm just trying to trick myself into doing more good stuff, that's all. That's all I'm saying. Oh, um, we have a uh, new script category, the dang edgy script category. So... Pretty excited about that. Uh, Norns is so for me, it's dev disk two, it could be compute module. Um, you can just play format roulette and hope <laughs> I 
I don't do enough good stuff. Swamp stinks. If I did, I wouldn't still feel an impending sense of dread and despair all the time. Uh, the size of my dev folder is large. It probably shouldn't be. <laughs> well, wait, slash dev is... Uh, no, that's, that's, no, don't do that one. That's the, um, uh, you want to look at dev disk two, uh, slash dev is like, uh, there's, there's guts in there <laughs> for, for your computer. <laughs> okay. Um, then it's possible you just dev disk. Or uh, volumes, maybe. Actually, before I give advice, are you on your Mac computer or on your Linux box? Oh, okay. I cannot help you then. <laughs> uh, I'm sure Swamp Sinks can. And yeah, Swamp Sinks, of course, those things are connected. Eventually, all of my good deeds and good actions will translate to self-esteem and a better world. Okay, so the etching is complete and now it's validating. So that's basically like checking to make sure you wrote the data okay. You can skip it, but uh, it's, you should never skip it. Uh, unless you're testing something and are planning on formatting again. To me, there's only downside to skipping a validation for something like this. I do this maybe like three or four times a year tops, so I wanna make sure it's good. Yeah, they'll do it. I have no idea. Are, are you in boot mode? Or what's it called? mode, I assume. Okay, so flash complete. Um, that's great. So now uh, we are going to... Okay, so that it doesn't show up in my locations anymore and it's not here, so our lovely instructions finished so we're safe to disconnect the USB uh, so we'll do that there's a lovely um, glyph in here okay I just want to say how appreciative I am of 
the aesthetic of this thing. There is not a single glyph, word, character anywhere on it. And that sounds very um, I don't know, like apart from the minimalist aesthetic. Oh, I have more music. <laughs> Video pause, continue watching. Yes, please. Um, apart from the aesthetic of minimalism, it's an interesting kind of act of rebellion because I can't think of a single consumer electronics product that doesn't have that weird CE symbol on it somewhere and like trademarks and copyrights and as I pick up my mouse and that weird C symbol isn't on it. Yeah, but like, you know, all this junk. We don't even notice it, but it's on everything and it changes the character of something. Okay. Oh, I didn't hit the run mode. Uh. <laughs> Whoops. Alonzo, you're having struggles too. It's a struggle night. So now I have to take this off because I forgot to hit the switch. So I was too infatuated by the no glyphs on it. Okay, so to do this, um, it's just uh, right up here to switch it over to run. I'm actually gonna break the rules and I'm gonna see if this turns on before um, I screw everything back on. Okay, we got dust, so. Uh, <laughs> the docs are optimistic. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, it's, it's easy to say that after you see someone like accidentally do this, but there's so many edge cases, you just can't take them all into account. Um, Like at work today, we were talking about how much value there is in exploratory testing with software because, so like a better example, uh, I was watching a Bloodborne stream last night, which Bloodborne is like a, oh shit. Um, it's a game from From Software. They make Dark Souls and stuff. People are really into the game. They find all these glitches in it. And there's one boss that if you uh, while the boss is doing its like ultimate attack, if you um, <laughs> turn around and don't look at him, it actually doesn't damage you. So apparently, you know, like that's something that people exploit, and they should, because it's hilarious. But uh, no one in their right mind would ever find that unless you were like intentionally looking for something really screwy like that. <laughs> Exploratory testing exposes deep truths about reality. <laughs> Do you have a favorite truth you've discovered? Okay, so we've got um, Norns is running. Uh, let me get this back set up with the mount. Two 
turn off the video so y'all don't get motion sick. Sorry to disappoint you, Reginald. All right, we're getting uh, pretty, pretty sus quality video on this, but that's okay. It's like a snuff Norn's stream, all the grain. Okay, so now we're just going to take Professor Dirks's advice and simply go to update. Uh, so to get there, it's just um, uh, so if you're on the main menu, you just go over to system and then update and it's automatically going to check. Um, I'm on the internet, of course, so found 210927. So for those of you that don't know the state format, um, I'm not sure what the actual term for it is, but it's the last two numbers of the year, then the month, and then the day. So 2021-0927. Um, we're recording this in October, so this came out you know, about a month ago in September. Uh, yes, I want to install it. So now it's going to download and do everything. Reg Barfly. Reg Bars Fly. So definitely something we learned today is if you want to open your Norns, you need to go to Walgreens and get the uh, glass eyeglass repair kit keychain. Um, absolutely necessary utility. I've got this like phantom dust right now. Uh, do as I say, not as I do. Don't do this. So sometimes this happens and uh, I 
I have these aliases set up to um, automatically mount different points on Norns. Um, right now, it's conf SSHFS is confused. It thinks Norns is mounted, but it's not. So, I don't know. This typically just sorts itself out, but. Uh, Norns did not remember my Wi Fi password, but my computer remembered that it has internet sharing on. So, it automatically granted internet access to Norns. I am going in through a. Um, USB to Ethernet cable to my computer? It's a really good question. Uh, so this is just under um, uh, right here. So internet sharing's on. Um, so it knows that if I've got some ethernet plugged into my computer to share the internet with it. Okay, so Norns is back. Um, if you hit uh, K2, you can see to confirm that you're on the right version. So yeah, that concludes the um, how to nuke your Norns uh, part of this video. So thanks so much for watching and uh, see you later.